Stop, stop, stop talking about. This is my McDonald's that I work for. When y'all are older, y'all can buy your own. Mom, that's not fair. Why is it my fault? Can, can, can I have some popcorn? No. Yes. <laughs> Down, it's just a popcorn. <laughs> Mom, wait! <laughs> what? Did you want any of the popcorn? Well, that's too bad. I already ate it. Stupid. <laughs> Mom, it was just a popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you want this? Well, you can't have it. You're not old enough, loser. <laughs> Why are you always such a crybaby? Mom, this is alcohol. He can't drink it. <laughs> Give me that. These are my goldfishes. I can't believe you're trying to eat my snacks. <laughs> you always try to get me in trouble. You a snake. <laughs> Mom, I'm way too old for a whooping now. That won't work no more. Yo, what are you doing? You can't have walnuts. You're allergic to walnuts. You'll die. Ah! Yo, I'm literally saving your life. <laughs> Mom, for the millionth time, I'm way too old for a belt whipping. Well, that's why now I got two belts. What? When you share food with your little sibling. What? Let me guess. You want a little piece? Okay, you can have one tiny bite. One little bite. Ow, you ate some of my finger. I said a little bite. You took all my food. Give it back. Spit it out right now. Ah! Mom, this ain't fair. He's eating my food. Here, I got you flaming hot Cheetos for brunch. Now eat up. What now? I didn't want this kind. I wanted a baked flaming hot Cheeto. Baked cooked rolls all the same thing. Now eat, eat, eat. What are you doing? I'm baking my Cheetos. Dude, it's already cooked. You can't bake the cooked. I'm tired of you making stuff out of nowhere. You're just doing nothing. See, now it's baked. I told you anything is possible. You never believe me. I, I knew it was going to do it. I knew. I always just bake stuff in the oven and you never believe me. Hey, I got you guys some dinner. It's a, a, a hot Cheeto. Just one hot Cheeto? Yes, for both of you. Y'all you, got to share that. Is that really it for both of us? Yes, that's it. Y'all better be grateful. Some people can't even afford a, a, a piece of water. Now share with your little brother. Oh, Cheeto. You didn't share. You're cheating. I did share. No. Ah! You're always going to be in trouble for no reason. <laughs> when moms make you eat all your food. Hey, what is this? Um. Are you talking about that piece of rice? Yes, a rice. You threw it away. Now eat it. <laughs> now swallow. <laughs> now you waste some more food. Eat that throw up. No! <laughs> Here, I made you a whole chicken wing for dinner. Now eat up. Thanks, Mom. I was starving. Remember to eat all the meat and the cartilage. So good. W what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? Eat the bone. The, the bone? D that ain't normal. Didn't you do this last year to my brother? Eat it now. Eat the nutrients of the bone marrow. I can't do it. Ah! You're so ungrateful. I'm taking away your ex Nintendo box. When you eat fast food in front of your sibling. <laughs> I can't wait to eat these chicken nuggets. I got my own money. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you hungry? <laughs> Too bad. Maybe when you're older and you get a job, you can afford some. <laughs> these chicken nuggets are so tasty. <laughs> Save this biscuit for later. <laughs> what are you doing? That's my biscuit. Mom, he ate my biscuit. Wait.
with three potatoes and some meat, I can make a delicious dinner. Start by cutting six large potatoes. Transfer these diced potatoes to a large saucepan and add one and one half teaspoon of salt with one liter of water. Now cut one onion in half, then cut one of these halves into strips. And finally, dice them and the onions we've just chopped up. Then add one crushed garlic clove, add 500 grams of ground beef, to season it, add one and one half teaspoon of salt. Add a generous pinch of black pepper. Meanwhile, to a large bowl, add all those cooked and drained potato dices. Also add 50 grams of unsalted butter. Then add one whole egg. Now add 160 grams of wheat flour. Then get some of the potato dough and put it over the flour. Flatten dough with the palm of your hands into a circle. Now add two tablespoons of that meat we've set aside. Then put one dumpling at a time into the skillet and fry them until golden brown. And I'll also thank you for sharing this recipe. See you next recipe. Bye.